gravitational waves are essentially uh, to the universe and space and time as say ripples are in a pond. If you see ripples going on in a pond or any body of water, you can deduce things about that pond. What is the water made out of? Is there duckweed on the top? How deep is it? Uh, is there ice? You know, things like that. All the different things about that puddle. By the way, the depth affects the, the amplitude of the ripple. Completely. It's why mm -hmm. when you're at the beach, you know, you see a swell sort of out there, but mm -hmm. then it gets closer to the shore, it becomes a big wave. So the energy that is out there in the ocean, which is shared vertically to the bottom of the thing, as you get shallower and shallower, that energy has to manifest somehow, and the height of the wave grows. What is the material of the beach? Is it rocky? Is it sandy? So gravitational waves literally have the opportunity, if we're sensitive enough to detect them, to tell us about space-time, the structure of the universe, the things that these ripples go through. Things you would know beyond just the simple detection of the wave. That's right.